Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Before digging deep into our analysis, let's have some words of wisdom from Aristotle. A tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment for Marula whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. Aristotle, Greek philosopher and polymath, 384 BC to 322 BC. Those are some words of wisdom that we, we will dissect in our subsequent analysis. In this video, I want us to have a look at Ndindinyoro's story, a story that was captured by nation. Nyoro takes on Gashagwa in Mount Kenya supremacy battles. A fresh battle for the control of Mount Kenya politics is taking shape, pitting allies of Deputy President regarding a shagwa against those of Kiharu MP Ndinyoro. The supremacy wars came to a head in Muranga County yesterday when Mr. Nyoro hosted a group of Kenya Kwanza leaders in his constituency. Muranga Senator John Newton through the first salvo, when he announced that it is Muranga's turn to produce a president, we had the first and fourth presidents from Kiambu County, while the third was from Nyeri. Mr. Nyoto added that the deputy presidency has now gone to Nyeri, thereby bypassing us. And we are now saying, it is Muranga's turn through Mr. Nyoro. Yes. And, and there were also so many, there were also so many leaders who had such similar sentiments as the Muranga senator. And they were actually rooting for Ndindi Nyoro. And some were even leaders from Kalenji Rift Valley, the likes of Majority Leader, Senator Aaron Cheruyot. In this video, as usual, I want us to understand what is going on behind the scenes. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. What is happening here? That's just a continuation of the shadow boxing between Ruto and Rigadi Gashabwa. Ndindi Nyoro is clearly being propelled by William Ruto. Ruto wants checks and balances on the mountain so that in the event Rigadi Gashabwa rebels, then he has somebody to replace Rigadi Gashabwa on the mountain. That is exactly what is going on here. And Ruto is doing it early enough before Rigadi Gashagwa emerges as the undisputed political Mount Kenya kingpin. So those are just political moves by William Samoy Ruto. And it's a continuation of his shadow boxing with Rigadi Gashagwa. And this is what William Shakespeare describes in his playbook Macbeth, ambition and greed for power. Ruto is actually opening so many war fronts. Whether he will succeed or not, it's only time that will tell. We are seeing William Ruto opening some wars with Uru Kenyatta, with Matiangi, with Raila, he is opening war fronts everywhere. Whether he will succeed, only time will tell. If you look at that move by Ndindi Nyoro, 
I'm seeing a very confused team in government. A team that instead of serving the people, they are very busy scheming against one another. How to outsmart one another instead of serving the people. If you look at William Ruto, Ruto believes that a successful politician eh, is one who outsmarts his political rivals. That's what I'm seeing of a William Ruto's political philosophy. Ruto does not believe that politics is about the betterment of the, <laughs> of the common man or the hustlers. He believes that success in politics is outsmarting your political rivals. And that's why I believe Ruto is a politician, but not a leader. A leader, a good leader should actually put service delivery before any other, anything else. But looking at William Ruto, he's really concentrating on inane issues, things that will not benefit the so-called hustlers he was saying he was going to form a government with. And also from that new move by Ndidi Nyoro, I'm seeing a very high possibility where if Ruto and his team do not play it very smartly, then it can actually backfire in that regarding the Shagwa and his team can also in the coming days start sending some, <coughs> some warnings or rather some salvos to William Ruto. And we saw that sometimes back when Rigadi Gashago was very busy meeting Mount Kenya leaders. And also we saw that during the nomination, yellow nominations, where Rigadi Gashago mobilized leaders from the mountain and they rejected one of William Ruto's Yala nominee. If Ndini Nyoro pu pushes with this, hmm, then I'm saying Rigadi Gashagwa might also be forced to actually re or rather restart or rather to start once again his rebellion because already he had started it but it appears there was a truce and that's why he has been silent. But by Ndini Nyoro continuing with this, then actually Rigadi might also be forced to also start his rebellion. And I'm also seeing a very high possibility where William Ruto, maybe his greed for power, might actually cut short his leadership. Yes, his ambition and greed for power might actually cut short his, his rule. And I'm saying that because if you look at regarding the Shagwa, Regarding a Shagwa as I talk, is actually emerging as the undisputed mountain political kingpin. And I personally believe that Ruto can really work very nicely with Regarding a Shagwa without all this shadow boxing. Yes, Regarding is, is a politician who, if you look at him, He's, he's just there. I don't think if he's given what he wants, then I don't see Rigadi rebelling. This is a politician, a politician who is more than excited to be appointed a deputy president. So Ruto should just give him maybe what he wants. This is a man who has no political experience at all. I don't think if he's Akishiba at a letter of Sumbufa, I don't think so. So Ruto, in my honest opinion, should just give regard what regard he wants, and he'll work very peacefully with these people. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, but you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you're giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who also wants to support our forum here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.